If you're a pre-medical student or a student planning on pursuing a career in healthcare, then you're more than likely to run into very difficult science classes throughout your college career. Classes like this, 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 and this. And I know all of those classes might sound really, really scary, and trust me, they're all very difficult classes, but in this video, we're gonna be going over which classes I thought were the hardest that I've taken during my undergrad pre-medical years at USC. What's up everybody? For those of you guys that are new to the channel, my name is Luigi and I'm a soon to be medical student. For those of you guys that are interested in applying to medical school in the future and pursuing a career in medicine, then this channel is for you. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Before I go ahead and list out my top five hardest classes that I've taken during my pre-med years, I think it's really important to mention that there's a lot of different factors to take into account when you're trying to decide which classes are difficult and which aren't as difficult. Some of these factors include the professor, if there's a lab for the class, the lab instructor, the test format, the format of the class itself and the grading breakdown. Then you also have to consider external factors such as other classes that you've taken throughout that semester, the extracurriculars that you're a part of, and the list goes on. So with that said, I just wanna mention that this is from my personal experience and I don't want you guys to take this video too into account when you're thinking of which classes you need to take during your undergrad years. Make sure you always discuss this kind of issues with your advisor before making big decisions about which classes that you need to take for the following semester. To get things started, let's first discuss the honorable mentions. The first course that I wanna bring up is general chemistry, more specifically general chemistry A, or some people call it general chemistry one, depending on which school you go to. But yeah, what made this class really difficult for me was the fact that I took it during the second semester of my freshman year. And during that time, I was still struggling with trying to adapt to the new environment, living life in college away from family. So because of that transition period, that kind of added a lot of other factors that made it difficult for me to just focus on that class. And additionally, during that time in my freshman year, I was also trying to get involved in different clubs because I kind of thought that extracurriculars would be super duper important in getting into medical school and that was my main focus at that time. Regarding the class itself, it was very math heavy and the actual content wasn't too bad, but it's the math that really got to me. I just don't think I'm really good at math. So me mentioning that I'm pretty bad at math actually kind of gave me an idea for a second honorable mention, which is my physics courses. With regards to my physics courses, based on what I've heard from friends at USC, they don't recommend me taking it there just because of how difficult it was and how much work they had to put in. And honestly, like I was very scared of that just because of my weakness in math. So what I decided to do was to take it at a Cal State, which is kind of a lower rank university compared to USC, which meant that theoretically the class would be easier. And I'm so glad that I did because it was easier and at the same time, the tuition for that was way cheaper than if I'd taken it at USC. Okay, now it's time to get on with the big boys. So we're gonna go in this order of five to one, five being the easiest out of the five and one being the hardest. And for number five, we're gonna start off with a class that isn't necessarily a pre-medical requirement, but it still counts as a pre-med class just because it's under that niche of biology and sciences. And that class is embryology. The embryology class that I took was a two unit class, which theoretically is supposed to mean less work. And I only took it because I needed some more credits to go into my minor of healthcare studies. So I decided to take embryology. It sounded really interesting, but man, did that class screw me up. I think the most difficult thing about that class is the fact that there were no tests. All of the grading was based on presentations, reading research papers, writing essays, and that was basically it. And just the fact that it's not a lot of tests and more based on presentation skills, oh, that, that ruined me. And I just thought that, you know, if I try really hard, I might be able to come out with an A, but the amount of effort that it took to do well in that class was, I just didn't think it was worth it. So that class was really hard for me. And that's why it's gonna be placed at number five. Number four on the list is one of my, probably my favorite classes throughout my whole undergraduate career, and that's anatomy. With anatomy, there was a heavy load of content that I needed to learn, but the labs were extremely fun. You know, just having those skeletal models and being able to visualize the human body, I just thought that that was really interesting and that's like why I wanted to go into the field of medicine, just because of how fun learning could be, specifically when it comes to those kind of topics. But that doesn't mean that the lab exams, the lab reports, 
and the actual test weren't going to be difficult and they were just all memorization and kind of visualization another thing was the way that the tests were formatted when i took it was more of a multiple choice which i know you'd assume is nice but the way that it phrased the questions and the answer choices with a b c and d it would be whole sentences where there's a lot of correct information but in three of those answer choices there will be one small detail that's off and you're gonna have to know which one is the one that's all complete and all correct so rather than one question being asked it's technically asking you like four questions and you just have to pick the right answer number three on the list is physiology so physiology is kind of building on what i learned during anatomy and i think where i went wrong was that i took anatomy during a second semester and then i took physiology the semester afterwards which meant that over the summer i basically forgot everything that i learned about anatomy well not everything but most things and by the time that i'm taking physiology there was kind of that break where i forgot some things about anatomy so it was partially relearning and a lot of applying what i was able to learn in anatomy class and yeah like same thing with anatomy physiology just contained so much information condensed into one semester even the professor said that he wished that anatomy and physiology were classes that he could have taught simultaneously rather than doing anatomy first and then physiology next but there's nothing we can we can do about that but yeah overall it was just the amount of information that you have to learn that kind of overwhelmed me and made it really difficult for me to do well in that class but not to discourage you guys you know sometimes you're just going to end up having to take classes that have a lot of information that you're going to have to condense into one semester or one quarter but yeah you know with the study tactics that i was able to develop i was able to come out of that class with a pretty good grade and if you guys want to find out the study tactics that i mentioned make sure to hit that subscribe button as i'll go through all of these hard classes and discuss more in specific detail how i was able to survive them so let's get on with the list okay number two on the list is biochemistry and molecular biology i know what you're thinking like aren't those two separate classes well, at USC, there is that option where you can take biochemistry and there's an option where you can take molecular biology. But there's a third option where you can take molecular chemistry slash biochemistry condensed into one semester. And there was honestly a lot of people in that class and I think everybody was thinking like, oh, why not just combine everything into one semester and save me some time so that I can take the MCAT sooner because I'll have this background knowledge. And I mean yeah i guess that was a good idea except for i kind of underestimated how hard that class was actually going to be and how it'll work combining those two classes so what the professors ended up doing was doing what's called a flipped lecture and that was the first time i've ever participated in something like that where they would send you um, a video of them lecturing for half of the powerpoint and during class they're going to be teaching for half of the class time and the second half of that class time is meant for question and answers based on whatever like questions you might have based on the video that you're supposed to watch the day before and during the first half of the class and if you don't watch those videos you're going to end up falling behind because you're not going to know what they're talking about during the class so yeah i mean that's not one of those classes where you can procrastinate and just watch all of the videos at the end of the week before you see the professor you had to basically always be thinking biochem and molecular bio as you're watching the videos on let's say like sundays then you have the lectures on monday then you watch the video on tuesday then you have the lecture on wednesday and then it just goes on and on so that class was just really hard and the tests were only 40 questions which meant that every one point that you get off is a big chunk of percentage so yeah that was not my favorite class let's just say it. let's just keep it at that and the number one class that i thought was the hardest class that i've ever taken in my pre-med years it's probably the same class that every pre-med talks about whenever you ask them, oh, what's the hardest class they've taken? And that's organic chemistry. Okay, so imagine taking all of the content and information that you're going to have to memorize for molecular chemistry and a biochemistry class combined. Mix that with the visualization skills that you need for anatomy and physiology. And then add an additional skill of being able to draw like an art major. Combine that with professor a professor that acknowledges that this class should be a weeder class that's meant to filter out students that aren't as serious about becoming a doctor 
combine that with labs that you basically just go through without fully understanding what's going on then you're gonna get organic chemistry so that class kicked my butt every single test just ruined me lab exams every lab i go to the lab report and the lab quiz it just felt like a whole midterm combined into one the amount of stress that i go through just to make the lab report as nice as i could with all of the information that i think would be needed it's still getting some points off and then going into the lab with the lab quiz waiting for me like oh my god every week was so stressful Sp especially because i was partaking in a lot of different clubs with leadership positions and then i also had my um volunteering program where i was also trying to get leadership positions in like it was just a lot of responsibilities and the timing for that class was really really bad honestly like the only reason why i was able to come out of that class with a grade that i was happy with was because it was curved and that just saved me so if it wasn't curved oh man i don't i don't think i would be making a video like this or making a channel about being a pre-med at all but yeah you know like one of the best things about organic chemistry is just i'm happy that i survived it and that i've gone through it that's that's all i can say about that class okay so now that we finished our list of the hardest classes that i've taken during my pre-med years now it's time for question of the day As you guys might have guessed, my question for today relates to the hardest classes that you've taken during your years in, well, if you're not in college, then I guess you can just talk about high school classes or whatever class you might be taking. So yeah, with that said, what's the hardest classes that you've taken throughout your years of school? Let me know in the comments down below. And for the comment of the day, I'm gonna have to give a shout out to Ayush Malik. So what he said was he didn't really understand all of the things that I talked about and that he's in the 10th class. He also complimented me on my PSG jersey, which I really like too. And yeah, he mentioned, you know, we're getting close to 500 subs. If you guys don't know, he's been tuning in ever since I was making sneakerhead videos. And if you guys want to check those out, you know, they'll be in my video list. Just click on whatever shoe reviews you guys want to check out. I promise you they're all bangers. But yeah, Ayush has been there since the beginning and he said, always keep educating people. And you know, that just really means a lot. Even when we're doing shoe reviews, I was really glad that I was able to help people out, you know, making the right choices in terms of sneaker sizes that they should get. And also just educating them on how a specific shoe looks so that they can figure out if they want to buy it or not. And hopefully with this video, I'm providing the same amount or greater amount of um, education and I'm helping people out in a bigger way. So. Thank you, Ayush, for that comment. And that concludes our video for today. For If there's any main key takeaways that I want you guys to have, it's that there's going to be a lot of hard classes that you're going to end up going through if you're planning on applying to medical school and becoming a physician. That's just a part of the process. But what's important is that you do your research ahead of time and figure out which classes you're going to have to put a lot of effort in, a lot of time in, and maybe plan your schedule around that just to make it easier for yourself. And I know sometimes, you know, life isn't fair. Sometimes you're going to have to take multiple difficult classes at the same semester. And that's just how it is. But the most important thing is to keep your bigger goal in the back of your head and just always remember that it's not going to be easy. So hopefully that will motivate you to keep pushing through all those late nights of studying, all those all-nighters, all the stressful times. Just hold on to that goal. And... With that said, thank you guys for tuning into the video. If you guys really like this content and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys are planning on applying to medical school in the future or want to find out ways on how to boost your productivity, hit that subscribe button too. So if you guys really enjoy this, hit that like button. Make sure you comment down below in the question of the day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.